The USS Portland is back in San Diego tonight and has the Orion capsule on board. Cool is that? The spacecraft was recovered Sunday off the coast of Baja, California. Tonight, CBS 8's Brian White gives us a closer look at the capsule. I'm here at Naval Base San Diego where the USS Portland has returned. It's now docked at the pier and sitting inside it is a piece of history. Good descent rate. Splashdown. When the uh, orbital uh, touched down in the water, the whole ship erupted into cheer. Orion, back on Earth. Uh, it was honestly kind of emotional for everybody. It felt amazing, actually. Nicholas Arpaio was one of the Navy divers on these crick boats that made first contact with the floating capsule. Seeing it come out of the sky with the parachutes as it broke through the clouds, hearing the sonic boom, I was almost shaking. I was so excited to be a part of this. It took years of hard work and training to prepare for this type of recovery operation. It was picture perfect, flawless. It all went off without a hitch. Melissa Jones is a NASA recovery director. This video was taken of her working with her team aboard the USS Portland during the splashdown. There's a whole bunch of feelings, relief, excitement, um, just elation. During reentry, Orion endured temperatures at 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, half as hot as the sun. And within 20 minutes, it slowed from 25,000 miles per hour down to a mere 20 miles an hour for splashdown. There's a sigh of relief now that we're done with this portion. There's going to be a lot of people having a good time tonight and smiling. From deckhands to divers and crewmates, all the way up to the commanding officer of the USS Portland, everyone from top to bottom share the same feeling of gratification and inspiration just being a part of this. To make history was honestly just, again, an incredible experience for me and the entire crew. Yeah! The capsule will eventually be delivered back to the Kennedy Space Center, where NASA engineers will remove the avionics boxes and retrieve the myriad of flight data crucial to making Artemis II a success and on time for its launch in May of 2024. There's lessons to be learned, but from the perspective that it came back whole, it came back with all these good measurements so we can actually continue the mission. Next, engineers will remove Orion from the ship on Thursday in preparation for transport back to the East Coast. At Naval Base San Diego, Brian White, CBS 8.